morning thank you for joining me i hope everybody's well and having a lovely week this week as you will have seen from the little doobie doo up here and from the title of this video this is an ad this is a sponsored video sponsored by marks and spencers which means they are paying me to create this content for them as well as i have received um, i've received a voucher gift voucher to purchase the clothes that i am going to show you today rest assured however all opinions will as ever be my own and i will be honest about quality and fit and all of those good things i'm really excited we've got some party wear we've got some winter wear there's a few pieces that I showed in a recent video when I was going through the website and um, picking out things that were sort of on my wish list so I'm excited to try those I haven't yet tried anything on it only arrived yesterday so I've just literally unbagged it and it's going to be very much first impressions um, I will of course link everything in the description below and I'll also put links into the pinned comments so if you can't find the description box um, the, the links are always in the pinned comments so just scroll to the top of the comment section and they'll all be there in a comment made by me right at the top the other thing that I do always like to say for anybody new around here who has just clicked on this video I am five foot three I'm 55 years old I'm an 18 to 20 UK size on the bottom and a 22 ish on the top so without further ado let's get stuck into what you're all here for let's have a look at the clothes I've got six pieces to show you today which make up three outfits actually two pieces for each outfit so I've coordinated everything that I've chosen pretty well and the first item I'm particularly excited actually I'm excited about most of them but uh, this is um, a pair of Harper jeans you will if you're a regular viewer you will know that I love the cut and sizing of the Harper jeans they just really work well for my figure and uh, they're a straight jean they are, I bought them in a size 20, of, sorry, just let me grab my glasses so I'm not peering like, that's better. Yeah, they, it says they're a cigarette jean. I would call them more of a straight jean and I've got these in a 20 regular. I think they do come in petite and long fit as well, but don't quote me on that. These ones are 39.50 and they are gorgeous navy blue velvet. They also come in black, if you fancy black velvet. I've never had a pair of velvet jeans, but velvet is such a lovely winter fabric, isn't it? I feel like you could wear these with chunky boots rolled up a little bit onto the calf and a big chunky sweater, um, or you could wear them with, with the type of thing that I'm gonna show you, which is a little sparkly top for a sort of nice Christmassy, um, festive look. But the, the velvet jeans will last you all through winter, won't they? I mean, it's not just a Christmassy thing. But again, the type of item I like that you can dress up or down, I do like that expression, dressing things up or down, because I think when we're spending money on clothes we want them to work for us don't we we don't want it to be something that you'd only ever wear for one type of occasion I think particularly these days when money is in shorter supply than it used to be the more versatile the pieces we buy for our wardrobe are the better cost per wear goes down doesn't it now today I'm going to pop these on with this top I saw this in store a while ago when I was out with my friend Kirsten and I just thought it was lovely it's sort of a I think I'd call this casual luxe type of top. I don't know where I've got that expression from. It's a gorgeous sort of royal blue sparkly v-neck top. It's fairly lightweight, it's got some stretch in it and it's sort of this oversized um, look that I do like. I've got this one in a 22 there and that is 25 pounds which I thought was a really reasonable top price for a nice sparkly top. Um, I like the length of this, it's not over long, it's certainly not sort of long line tunic length but um, I think this will work quite well for me being only five foot three. I've just whacked myself in the head with the hanger as well. Right I'm going to pop those two on and I will be back. Super pleased with both of these pieces. It's so nice to find a pair of sort of shorter length jeans you know the, the design of these is that they sit just above the ankle that actually sit where they should do on me feel like they're really nice they're super comfortable they feel so nice to wear they fit nicely around my waist i don't know how well you can see that but uh, they look all right on my bottom as well i do like the cut of these half of jeans i feel like they work really well for a petite plus size figure I say petite in terms of height rather than rotundity. Um, I love the top as well. I feel like it's a good fit. It's got that oversized vibe, which I love. Um, it sits really nicely lengthwise. It's a little bit longer at the back, which I quite like. But the front goes out, covers up my tummy, which is one of the parts I really don't like. Um, 
without being too long. I just feel like it's, it really, it doesn't drown me. The whole outfit doesn't make me look too short at all. I've just got it on with some little blue flat ballet pumps with this. But as I said, these jeans I would definitely dress up with a chunky jumper or a poncho, something like that, and um, a pair of chunky boots. Um, feel like they'd look great like that. But um, yeah, super happy with both of these items. Next up we have the silver sequin skirt of dreams. This is one of the items I showed in my recent Marks and Spencer wishlist video. And oh my goodness, this does not disappoint in real life. I saw it in store last week actually. I'm Ashley and I popped in to do a bit of food shopping and had a, I had a quick look around the clothes and I saw it in store. It comes in black as well. If, if silver sequins is a bit much for you, it does come in black and looks equally gorgeous. I've seen the black in real life as well. But I just fancied this, it's like mermaidy, isn't it? How gorgeous is that? Um, this was, I got this in a size 20, regular length, and it's 49.50. I do feel like you're paying a bit for quality here. It's fully lined, it's got a back zip, and it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not super heavy, but it has got a little bit of weight. And the way the sequins are, I don't know how well that's coming across on camera, but it just sparkles so beautifully. I'm so excited to put this on, I can't tell you. I'm gonna pair this one with this little top. Now this, I think, is a really versatile, talk about versatility as we were just now, I think this is really versatile. This is what appealed to me. This is shorter than I would normally choose, but I think with a sort of midi length skirt, it's quite a good length. It, I cannot tell you how soft this is, it's beautiful. And it ha it's described as sparkle on the website. Sorry about the sun, it's um, so difficult to film at this time of year and get the light right. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see the sparkle in that. It is super, super subtle. It is there, but it's super subtle. I mean, it's so subtle, you, you could wear this to the office and nobody would bat an eyelid type of thing, but it's got some really nice weight to it. It is super soft. I love the V-neck, I love the button front. And again, you could wear this with jeans, you could wear it with trousers, you could even wear it open over a dress, you know. I just thought it was a really nice piece. I got this in an XL and it is £29.50. And I thought the two together would be sort of sparkly yet cosy, sort of a sparkly cosy mixture, which is just perfect for Christmas, isn't it? I'm loving this one as well. Oh, this skirt. Lengthwise, this is, for me, this is perfect. I like a midi skirt to be lower down on my calves than actual mid calf so this is perfect for me it's got this split in the back but it doesn't go too high up it just makes it a little easier to walk I love how it shimmers as I walk I don't know how well the camera is picking that up but it's just gorgeous the top as well really good fit it it is a little higher than I normally wear however the skirt isn't clinging around my tummy the skirt's a really nice fit on the waist there yeah, there's a there's a little room in this but what I really like about it is it doesn't cling on my stomach it just sort of what's the word glides over so I don't mind that this top is a little shorter than I would normally wear because I feel like I haven't got that sort of really clingy um, bottom half that's sort of drawing attention to my stomach. The top is so warm and soft to wear. And the top also comes in, I'm wanting to say either a dark blue or a black, but, but I really like this sort of creamy winter white color and the really subtle sparkle I think is just great. It feels so cozy on. The V is a little low, I've just got a um, black camisole on underneath it. This one is another success, really, really happy with this. If the third outfit is as good as this one, it's gonna be winner, winner, chicken dinner, this whole video. Right, final outfit. Let me introduce you to the faux shearling gilet. Again, you will have seen this in my Marks and Spencer wishlist video recently. I absolutely loved this. And I particularly liked the photo, which you'll see up here, um, that showed the model wearing this over a jumper dress and chunky boots. This is fabulous, it's fur lined, it's super warm, it's got the fur collar, it's faux, so it's sort of, so it's like a, almost like a faux nubuck or moleskin type feeling on the outside, it's not like cold leathery feel. Um, I don't know how well that is coming across on camera. Feels lovely quality again. The price on this one is 69 and I got this in a size 20. I was slightly concerned that the 22 wasn't available when I ordered, although I think the bigger sizes have come back into stock now. Um, I was slightly concerned that this would be too small for me. 
However, I suspect it's not going to be having looked at it. Now, as I said, I wanted to recreate the look on the model and I chose this jumper dress. This is like a brushed jersey sort of fabric. It's again, super soft, but more lightweight. I like the sort of ribbing on the end of the sleeve and it's got the ribbing around the neck. Um, this one was, I got this in a size 22 regular length and it's 35 pounds. Um, I chose the regular length rather than the short length because I did want it to go over my knees. This is described as a mini um, jumper dress, I think, and I certainly didn't want a mini length one, but looking at the length on the model who's much taller than me, I thought the regular length would work quite well and just sit below my knees. Right, here is outfit three. I feel like I'm so glad I bought the gilet in a 20. I don't think I'd want it any bigger than it is. Um, it fits really nicely on the arms and across the shoulders and on the back. I think any bigger would have made it look a little bit oversized. It's already quite a big, chunky, you know, piece of clothing. So I think it's something that you wouldn't want oversized. So maybe size down one from your normal size if you're thinking of ordering this one. The jumper dress, again, I was slightly concerned it was going, let me take this one off to show you the jumper dress. I was slightly concerned it was going to be a little bit too clingy, but it's absolutely not. The 22 feels fine. It doesn't come up at the back. The hem sits at the same level all the way round. I like the sleeves because I can pull them up to three quarter length, which I love doing. I feel like I could belt this as well. Let me just belt it, bear with. I could definitely wear, I've got brown boots on, but I could wear black boots with it. And this would even work, I think, with a chunky cardigan over the top, like a cable knit cardigan, in, instead of the gilet to change it up a little bit. But yeah, both of these pieces, again, I'm really happy with them. Right, that brings us to the end of today's try-on. Three out of three outfits for me. I feel like sizing is really good on these items. I feel like the sizing's better than it was a couple of years ago. I found M&S sizing very hit and miss for a while back there, but um, but it seems better again. Quality-wise, really happy with the quality and the prices, I think, are reasonable for the quality of the items. So, so quite impressed with that as well. Anyway, thanks again to M&S for sponsoring today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and perhaps got some ideas. Um, I'll put all the links, as I said, in the description box and the pinned comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.